Hey y'all, welcome back to Random Rants with Storm. Storm here, obviously. With some cra- Fucking what the fuck? Some crazy ass hair, you know what? We gotta deal with it. Deal with this. The whole video. This. Deal with this. This right here. What's happening right here. Anyway, had a pretty lit day today. Went to the Dollar Tree. Ah, Y'all already fucking know. It's my favorite motherfucking place to shop. Got all kinds of cool shit, just like I said, for a broke bitch like me. Okay, this one right here, this broke bitch. Alright, so got me some of my favorite chips. This is a dollar. It is filled to here. Do you know what that is? That's the top of the motherfucking bag. Because the zipper for the bag that makes it resealable. You hear it? Click. Click. Yeah. Click, click. That's the top of the fucking bag, y'all. Guess what usually isn't filled to the top at all ever, really? Chip bags. Guess how much that was? Pop quiz, what did I say? One fucking dollar. Fucking Dollar Tree. Y'all, like, this isn't the whole point of the rant today. Stick with me. I got these, though. Yes. Cream cheese pepper bites. What are they, people? Imitation jalapeno poppers. What else are they? Fucking god dang delicious. Now, mind you, if I eat jalapeno poppers... Alright, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, y'all. My hair was calming down. Had to fix that. Anyway, <laughs> I, when I ate whoop, jalapeno poppers when I was little, okay, they had, like, the whole half of fucking jalapeno. If you, man, if you were unlucky, like, you got, like, a stem in there, too, and almost choked to death. Or maybe you were lucky. I don't know, however you look at it. Anyway, yeah, they had, like, the whole half of the jalapeno in there that was packed with cream cheese, just cream cheese, no extra bullshit. And, you know, coated and then fried real quick you know so it held all of it in there no these things got like yeah they're the frozen kind you, you kind of taste that they're frozen foods you know all frozen foods got that weird little uh cringe but i can deal with it you know like frozen veggies and shit i mean i love me some frozen veggies because i'm a broke bitch and you can get frozen veggies like mixed veggies Okay, like, really big, okay, from, like, let's say, like, here to here, a bag, okay, like, a bag of them, okay, and they're, like, a dollar at, like, Kroger's or, hell, even Myers. they're both really good stores, honestly, like, I say Dollar Tree all the time, but it's because everything in there is a dollar, if you want more bang for your buck, like, buy the bulk, bigger packages kind of shit, you go to Myers or Kroger's, because that shit's nice, um, Walmart's a lot better at prices than it was when I was little, at least. Like, I watched my mom struggle. Now I can actually go to Walmart and buy, like, a few things for the next few days to eat and, like, not completely break myself, which is nice. But, anyway, yeah, I went there and, well, <laughs> the jalapeno peppers, poppers, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, they've got the jalapenos already blended up. And it is just pure cream cheese, okay? Like, they didn't add a bunch of fucking crazy shit to it, you know, like, uh, like pepper and extra salt and shit like that, because that just makes it taste really gross, y'all, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about, so yeah, they're like, it's, it's alright, it's alright, I mean, the jalapeno pieces blended up in the cream cheese tastes like real jalapeno, I mean, I've like, been fat kid status and sitting around drinking beer eating the pepper bites cream cheese pepper bites from dollar tree and been all like oh i got, I got a bunch of, i don't know, like full mouth i'm gonna be like a nasty ass and like boop, spit out a piece of pepper and see if it's num 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 the real deal y'all and it was like they're real pieces of pepper so my nasty ass goes to Nip, 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 real damn pepper cool. Okay, yeah. 
anyway, so they're really good, and I was at the Dollar Tree today, but I guess the main, I do have a, a, a point to my rant today. There is a title, a reference, a label, if you will. Be so bold. Oh my gosh. Um, it is about always being ready with advice. Now, I know that sounds harsh. You can't always be ready with good damn advice to give somebody, but I'll tell you what you can be ready with. Let's prop you up here. Sorry, like, I'm rolling cigarettes. You're seeing the top of my little roll table. Told you. Bitch a broke bitch. But hey, $10 a week instead of $4 a day. I'll tell you what, the go-to cigarette, at least one of them around here for people, is Eagle's. Okay, and I'll usually get Eagle Red 100s. Okay, I mean, love me some Marlboro, don't get me wrong. I'm one of those weird fucking people that actually likes how a fucking, what is that? Dust? How a fucking cigarette tastes. I like sitting back with a Budweiser and a fucking Marlboro cigarette. I think the shit is the most delicious shit to pass my lips. I'm a fucking weirdo. Yes. So, yes, I love inhaling smoke and drinking piss water. I fucking love it. Anyway, weird fact about me. Guess you know now. Anyway, always be ready with advice. Or at least an experience from your life, okay? Like, I had an experience one time. I had, like, the adult version, whatever it's called. I'm not really sure what it's called now. I learned the name from my doctor when I was there. But I had, like, the adult version of whooping cough. That shit that babies can get if they are not healthy or up to date on all their shots or around sick people, you know, directly after being born. They can get whooping cough and they just, it can kill infants. Like they never stop coughing. Okay? <clears throat> I don't know all the info about it. Please do not comment back on the video and be really mean and try to like throw a bunch of facts down my throat. I mean, unless you just want to be nice and teach me random facts, I love learning about shit. And it doesn't even matter if it's shit I'm never going to use or even need to know. So you can, if you want to, just do not be rude. Or be rude, do you? But I wouldn't be rude to me. I'm awesome, okay? Anyway, um, yeah, so I had whooping cough, basically, in adult form. And I was living in Lewisport, Kentucky. And I was walking around one day with my ex-husband. I was walking around town. And I was coughing so horribly. I had been coughing for days and days, hours on end. I would cough all day and <gasps> was the only way I was able to catch my breath. And then it was coughing, dying again. And then to live. Okay, that was me catching my breath to actually hold and sustain my life in my body. Like, I ain't even fucking kidding you. Like, I was scared. Really scared. Okay, and... I remember I was just eating cough drops, just hoping something would soothe my throat. I was squirting numbing spray down my throat sometimes while I was sick with this. And I was taking antibiotics, mind you, and all that yada yada is back when I had health insurance. Some shit's fucking up now where I can't even get it because I owe back child support. That's a whole different fucking rant that I may not even ever rant about. I'm not sure. But silly to take away somebody's health insurance over back child support, isn't it? Another rant for another, maybe not even another day. Anyway, but, um... I had that going on with me, and I remember going into a convenience store and uh, picking up this bag of what was called Ludens. That's L-U-D-E-N-S. Ludens. So, they were cherry flavored. And my ex-husband, he looks at me and he goes, Oh yeah, I should have told you about those. They taste just like cherry candy. You can't even tell they're a cough drop. And I think there's some sort of numbing agent in it that makes your throat numb down where you know it's scratchy and stuff so you can quit coughing and actually breathe and I'm like sounds way too good to be true I've been fucking um doing the fucking whatever it was called withers uh 
mint cough drops and everything else, okay? Like, no, Withers Mints. I've got them mixed up. Do not judge me, okay? I was not using mints as cough drops. I swear, I just can't remember the name. But, um, they worked. I could breathe right there in the convenience store. The first one I put in my mouth, I just crunched it. I was so desperate. I was so tired of not being able to breathe. My chest hurt so bad, it felt like I was going to fall into a heart attack and just die just die. I was just petrified as to what was going on with me because my antibiotics obviously weren't working. It had been quite a few days since I went to the doctor and it had only gotten worse and progressively worse. So I chew up that Lutens and I'm swallowing the pieces and I'm like, uh, uh, and he's got a water for me. I'm drinking it and I'm like, uh, you know, maybe that could have worked if I wasn't a dumbass and, and swallowed all of it instead of just letting it melt. So I take another one and you know, we get out of the convenience store, I can already breathe a little better. Okay, I'm sucking on another one, and we're walking around. And I'm actually enjoying my walk. I am almost in tears. I'm so fucking relieved. I almost hit my knees in the store. I was so relieved. And I just, uh, it was unbelievable. Well, this lady in Dollar Tree today was buying these cough drops, and they were like these lemony, citrusy, cough drops, shit like that, and she said that she had just been eating them like candy, and that I don't know if she was sick all the time or just ate them because she liked the flavor, but I recommended Ludens to her because, I mean, for one, not everything that can be made for a dollar should be made for a dollar. I believe some medicines and stuff like that that you are going to do in not moderation, but in excess needs to be a bit more of a name brand or a higher price to, to know. I mean, it is that price because it is made with things that cost that much because they are okay to go into your body. A large consumption of it will not kill you. Lutins are not going to kill you. You can eat the whole bag like candy. I do not fucking recommend it because of the slight numbing agent that is in Lutins. Okay, mind you, I have not done research on Ludens or anything like that. If I'm fucking wrong about the numbing agent, sorry, my bad. But, um, fucking, yeah, it's, it's not going to kill you to eat a large amount of Ludens. And so I was, I was kind of worried about this lady that was in, in line in front of us. Me and my husband, we let her go before us because she's just carrying this big bundle of, you know, um, cough drops and toilet paper and a couple random things. And we've got like, a whole basket. So obviously, that's another thing. Let people go in front of you. If they got a few items and you got a whole motherfucking basket, you can wait a minute. Okay? Like, let them be quick and go, especially if they're older people or if they've got a lot of kids they're dealing with. Help a brother or a sister out. For real, help them out. Okay? Help a person out. It'd be really nice of you. But I told her about that. I told her the story. I acted it out and everything. We had a hoot and holler and good time. The ladies that were working there and the older lady I was talking with. And we just up in there just laughing and going. Okay? But she said she was going to get those instead. I actually got to her. Now, I don't know if she was trying to be polite, but she said she was actually going to go get some Ludens. Had me spell the name out for her and everything so she can remember so she can eat her cough drops and her throat can feel better and she can eat them like candy, but she ain't going to kill over from having too much of something in her, you know. Be like eating a bag full of candy. It's fine, okay? Anyway, that was my random rant. Try to always be ready with advice or a life experience. If you hear that somebody needs to hear it, tell them. Doesn't matter if you know them. I didn't know her from Eva Adam. I still met her. She's one of my acquaintances. Good lady. That's all I got for you today. Peace out. Be kind, y'all. Bye.